Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I want to talk a little bit about how Jenna Jameson decided to quit keto and gain 20 pounds. <clears throat> now this video is not about me judging her. It's really more about uh, how I think she feels right now because for the last three years, I felt what she assumed is feeling uh, multiple times. In fact, right now I'm still struggling with trying to stay strict. So I just want to take this opportunity because she's uh, based here in Hawaii and I'm in Hawaii. So I uh, just kind of piggyback on this idea that, uh, you know, that you do get tired of being strict with anything. And even though I really believe that keto is the answer for me, uh, it doesn't mean that it's 100% easy 100% of the time. And I can understand where Jenna's coming from, where uh, she was being strict for a while and she was seeing results. But then you see that everybody else, maybe some people aren't even struggling and they're able to eat whatever they want. Other people are struggling and decide not to really do anything about it. So they just, you know, either continue to gain weight or just get, kind of stay stagnant. And with me, uh, it's always been, you know, the fact that I'm in the military and the fact that I feel this uh, pressure to stay a certain shape, a certain size. And even though right now I really do like my size, I like being big and bulky. Uh, but like I said in a few of my videos before, the military doesn't agree with that. And so I do feel the pressure to get smaller and thinner and I feel that keto has been like the easiest way for me to do that but I do struggle staying strict and staying consistent a lot of the headlines that are focusing on Jenna's story are really are focused on uh, the tweet about how she wants to live her most carby life which I can understand where she's coming from because there's times where I, you know I love pizza and then I look at people enjoying pizza so obviously I want to enjoy it myself and sometimes even if I do make the chicken crust pizza it doesn't really kind of fill that void that carbs for some reason can fill but the fact that she knows that she stopped and after she stopped she gained 20 pounds which uh, I guess is about 25% of the weight she lost before, from when she first started doing keto. And because I've been in that exact same situation where I lose a ton of weight by being strict, by being staying consistent, and I decide to take a break or I just, for whatever reason, I just stop being strict and all of a sudden, boom, that weight comes back. It's just proof to me that keto does work. And all I really need to do is convince myself that carbs for me aren't great and it's an addiction that I keep going back to and basically falling off the wagon every time that I decide to take a break from keto. You know, I find myself more and more trying to talk less about keto and more about just being healthier and realizing that, you know, each one of our bodies is different and for me, carbs is just not my friend. So. Uh, instead of really talking about keto and making it awkward for people that love bread and love pasta, what I really want to talk about now is more about how each of our bodies uh, has a specific formula and we just got to find it and work it so that you know we're still living good lives and we're being healthy and we're not really forcing ourselves to do things that we don't really want to do i've always known that life has a cycle it has low points and high points i've been in low points i've been in high points and i feel like keto is the same way where you find yourself in low points and hating it and trying to convince yourself that you don't have to do it or that it's extreme and then you can find yourself in high points where you lose weight you feel good you have that energy and so i think it's working through the those low points and enjoying those high points that is the key just like in life I don't really take keto super seriously now I understand what it is I know that it works but if I fall out of it I just kind of gotta realize that that's like a low point and then just trying to work myself back up to a high point I really do think that keto is like turning a switch on and off for me on losing weight and gaining weight and you know getting energy and feeling lethargic and I really do think that that is the way for me I just have to be able to manage those low points and high points better and I think that's where Jenna's at right now so I think it's a good thing for her because she's gonna realize that hey, you know this is what happens when I eat carbs and then this is what happens when I don't that's just like a learning experience I've gone through it a couple times already I'm going through it right now right now I think we can all learn from her 
I think we can all learn from her experience and her determination to give herself a break and hopefully she'll get back on it or she'll realize a better formula that works better for her. One of the articles was mentioning that she was doing intermittent fasting. She gave that a break and realized that that also made her gain weight. So she went back on it and started losing weight again. So it's just about making little adjustments and figuring out what works best for you. And so that's where I'm working at right now. And I think that's what she's working at right now. And hopefully we can all learn from that. So that's it for this video. I just kind of wanted to mention her since uh, she's here in Hawaii and I wanted to give a shout out and I kind of, you know, related with what she's going through right now. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I got a few videos coming up. So don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when they're up. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.